Welcome to the Snake Gaming Channel. <laughs> what is up everybody? Snake Gaming here with another episode of Fallout 84. Today we are going to be looking at the I weapons of Fallout 84. I will be discussing the headshot and body shot damage. We will also be going through the fire rate, minimum and maximum ammo capacity as well as some things around the attachments and then also discuss which weapons will have damage drop off at range. If you do enjoy this kind of content, please remember to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Um, also, I will be showing you the results right at the beginning, so you don't have to go through everything. You can just screenshot those results and then work from there. But if you would like to see how I got to these results, please watch the video and tell me what you think and if I made any mistakes. Thank you very much and we'll see you inside. All right, guys, here you can see the weapon, headshot damage, body shot damage, the damage drop with range, yes or no, the fire rate, high, medium or low, as well as a burst, and then the minimum ammo, that is without any magazine, and then the max ammo with the golden magazine. And then lastly, the rating out of 10, which is my personal rating, and it can change from person to person. All right, guys, just to show you that items make no difference in damage, here we have a fully equipped M4 and we have one with only a sight. What we're going to do is, this is the M4 with nothing equipped. 18 damage. 18 damage, even at range. Close range. 18 damage, this is a fully equipped M4. 18 damage, right? And the belly, it's 12. 12. Reloading. So What's items, the rush, sweetheart? Items make no difference in the amount of damage that you do. What does make a difference is these XP's. The growth XP stat can be seen bottom right hand corner right next to your weapon. Now the weapon damage increase from these growth XP's is percentage based and it will go up in increments of 8. So you start off with 0, then it's 8, 16, 24, 32 and lastly 40% damage increase at level 5. In this example, I am showing you the M4 and the AK. You will see that the M4 starts off initially with increments of 1 damage per uh, XP growth level, but it will eventually go up to 2, and that is because this is percentage based, so it's not a fixed amount of damage, whereas your AK gradually climbs with 2 damage at every increment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll start off with the Fanatic Shock and dealing 80 headshot damage at close ranges, but only 50 to the body. It does have a good fire rate, so for early game engagements, close quarters, this is really a good gun, having 6 ammo capacity, no extended mags. As for the Hound, you do 132 headshot, only 84 body shot, but the fire rate is very slow. Still no extended mag, so quite a low rating for this gun. In the SMG category, we are now looking at the Uzi. It's got 12 headshot damage, 10 body shot damage, and a massively high fire rate. But unfortunately, no extended mags make this weapon not very viable, unless you are in the early game stages and it's the first weapon you pick up. The White Wolf, on the other hand, has a headshot damage of 11, body shot only 9, a very high fire rate, with a minimum max ammo capacity at 23, maximum 38, and it has a good rating. This gun, you do need an extended mag to make it viable, though. Now we have the tried and trusted UMP-99. This gun has a 12 headshot damage, 10 body shot damage, a medium fire rate, minimum ammo capacity of 22, maximum 37. It's really a great secondary weapon. I'd advise having it around and that's why I gave it a rating of 8. Next up with the MF-18, I did not know this was a SMG, but it is classed in the SMG range and I hate burst fire weapons. Headshot 23, body shot 20, so it does a lot of damage. It is a burst fire rifle, minimum ammo capacity with 30, maximum 50. I gave it a rating of 5. I hate burst fire, okay? The Mad Rabbit, next in line, 12 headshot, 10 body shot, a medium fire rate, minimum and maximum capacity at 
35. This is a really decent gun to start off with as you respawn, but I wouldn't keep it for too long. I gave it a rating of 6. The Invader Assault Rifle, dealing a massive 36 headshot damage, 24 body shot damage. It's got a very slow fire rate with a minimum ammo capacity at 16, maximum at 26. I gave it a rating of 8. This weapon can melt people if you hit your shots, but I struggle with it at close range. The Porcupine also dealing a nice 26 headshot damage, only 17 body shot, a slow Reloading. fire rate, What's minimum and maximum ammo right? capacity between 20 to 30. I gave it a rating of 7. It does deal a decent amount of damage, but I just don't like the slow fire rate for close quarter combat. The Jupiter 6. Right, this is a 17 headshot, 11 body shot, a very high fire rate. MM capacity between 26 and 36. I gave it a 10 out of 10. This is my favorite assault rifle. It just melts people. Reloading. Hold up. The generator is probably my least favorite assault rifle. It has only 14 headshot damage, 9 body shot damage, a high fire rate, 25 to 35 ammo capacity, and I gave it a rating of 6. It just deals very little damage. Some SMGs do better. The AK. 24 headshot damage, 16 body shot damage, a medium fire rate, ammo capacity between 27 and 37, and I gave it a rating of 7. This gun does do a lot of damage, you just need to be able to control that recoil and it slaps. Then the tried and trusted M4 assault rifle up next. Now this gun does do 18 headshot damage, 12 body shot damage, it's got a medium to high fire rate damage. Minimum of 18, maximum 37 ammo capacity. I gave it a rating of 9. If the fire rate was slightly higher, this gun was OP. The VSS is actually a sniper, but this game classes it as an assault rifle with 20 headshot, 13 body shot, a high fire rate, ammo capacity between 15 to 30. I gave it a 6. It's a very good weapon to pick up in the early stages if you need a bit of range and you don't have Silky scopes smooth, and attachments. Baby. Then we have the Mad Rat, once again a burst fire that I hate, it's got a good headshot damage of 26, a body shot of 17, it is burst fire and ranges between 24 and 36 ammo capacity, I gave it a 4, I told you guys, I hate burst fire. Now for the snipers, the Bar 95, the single shot bolt action, massive 143 headshot damage, 68 body shot, only slow fire rate and ammo capacity between 5 to 9. I gave it a 9 out of 10. If it had a slightly higher fire rate, I'd pick it all the time. The Defender Sniper Rifle has a 94 headshot, 45 body shot, high, a medium fire rate, ammo capacity between 10 and 14, a rating out of 9. This is my go-to sniper rifle at the moment. As for the Stellar Wind, it has a low headshot damage of only 65, a body shot damage of 31, medium fire rate, the ammo capacity between 12 and 16, I gave it a 7, it just doesn't add up to the defender, right? Next up we have the Rhino or the Rocket Launcher. Interesting, it has a lower headshot damage than body shot damage, headshot at 148, body shot at 180. Obviously a slow fire rate, it only fires one rocket at a time, and the ammo capacity the same, although it does spawn with 10 rounds. I gave it a rating of 7. This weapon can be used as a secondary instead of the SMG, have this and an AR, and it's pretty strong. The MG7, currently not in the game, but I did decide to rate it. 30 headshot damage, 20 body shot damage, a very high fire rate, even though it charges up to that fire rate. Uh, ammo capacity 80, no extended mag for it. I gave it a rating of 10. At ranges, this gun just destroys people. Now this next clip we might need to test a little bit more, hey but guys. as you can see oh, here on the yeah. first shot, just under 250 meters we hit the target, nice and easy. I take two steps back, over 250 meters, and the bullet no longer registers that it hits the target. But we'll have to see if that is just in the training lobby. Now in this next clip you will see that we demonstrate that ARs do not lose damage at range, the same could be said for snipers. While your SMGs and shotguns do lose damage the further away the target is. Something good to know, so you can put a 4 times on one of your ARs and still dish out a lot of damage at range as long as you can control that recoil. 
Now we all know that Phantom deals increased headshot damage with snipers, but just how much? Here you can see that Phantom does 164 headshot damage with a bar 95 at 0% XP growth, while other heroes will only deal 143 headshot damage at 0 XP growth. At max XP growth, Phantom will deal 230 headshot damage and other heroes only 200 damage, making that one shot headshot very viable with Phantom. There we go guys, all the stats accumulated on one page, this page will be posted in my Discord, link down below. You'll see that I have a rating for each weapon at the end, those are my personal preference ratings, it's the way I play the game and it might differ from player to player. I absolutely hate burst fire rifles, some people like burst fire rifles, I think those people eat garbage for breakfast if you disagree remember let me know in the comments down below and if you're keen to see more content like this please remember to give me a follow thank you guys very much snake gaming out